For many years, plaintiffs' attorneys have misled the courts and the public about the case against Chevron in Ecuador. Their claims of a rainforest Chernobyl sounded possible to some, but they just weren't true. They like to claim that the $19 billion judgment against Chevron is based on overwhelming scientific evidence. But what's now been proved beyond a doubt by their own experts is that their so-called scientific evidence was completely fabricated by the plaintiffs themselves. One by one, the plaintiffs' own experts have testified under oath that when the scientific evidence didn't go their way, the plaintiffs simply made it up. Dr. Charles Kalmbacher was one of the first consultants hired by the plaintiffs in 2004 to perform scientific testing in an effort to prove contamination by hydrocarbons. When the tests found no such contamination, the plaintiffs and their lead U.S. lawyer, Stephen Donziger, drafted a fake report filled with fake findings and simply attached Kalmbacher's signature without his knowledge. I did not reach this conclusion, and I did not write this report. But Kalmbacher wasn't alone. David Russell, the lead scientist for the plaintiffs, also couldn't find any scientific evidence to support their claims. After several months investigating oil operations in Ecuador, he too concluded, the environmental evidence did not and does not support the plaintiff's claim. Russell provided that testimony in an affidavit in 2013. He went on to say, I had seen no evidence of any widespread contamination, and there was no evidence linking residents' health problems to Texaco operations. I am confident that the damages number in the judgment has no basis in fact. Donziger misled me. Based on all the scientific evidence I have seen, I am certain that Donziger and the plaintiffs are lying about the environmental conditions in Ecuador. But a lack of scientific evidence wasn't about to stop the plaintiffs in pursuit of their fraud, as Donziger was caught saying in outtakes from the movie Crude. Facts do not exist. Facts are created. In an effort to create even more facts, the plaintiffs hired Ann Maist and Doug Beltman of Stratus Consulting. They were charged with developing the scientific evidence to support the plaintiff's case. In April of this year, Stratus's Beltman and Maist not only admitted that they wrote parts of the damages report for Richard Cabrera, who was appointed by the court to serve as an independent expert, but also renounced all of the scientific findings and conclusions it contained, saying, Stratus is not aware of any scientific evidence that people in the former concession area are drinking water contaminated with petroleum. At no time while working on the Ecuador project did I see any data supporting a finding of groundwater contamination. The plaintiff's lead science consultants went on to say, I disavow any and all findings and conclusions in all of my reports and testimony on the Ecuador project. The plaintiff's own scientific experts agree. The judgment against Chevron in Ecuador is not based on science or fact. Facts do not exist. Facts are created. <laughs> Unfortunately for the plaintiff's lawyers, facts do exist. And it's a fact that the plaintiff's case is a fraud without merit.